it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am bringing you a cook with me. I'm going to do a roast in the crock pot. And it's just going to be a quick, simple, easy recipe, one that you can easily duplicate. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time with my intro. We're just going to jump right in and here we go. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our crock pot and we're going to spray the liner with some cooking spray. So whatever cooking spray you have, just make sure you spray it because it's just gonna make cleanup easier for you. That's the only reason why I do that. All right, then I have this chuck roast and this is a almost a two pound chuck roast. So I'm just going to pop that right into my crock pot. Now I could brown this on the stove and give it a nice little coating, but you know what? Frankly, I don't have the time today, so we're just going to pop it right into the crock pot just to make it easier. So I've opened the package, I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to pop it right in there. All right, I'll throw this away. Give my hands a quick little rinse. And then I'm going to throw some seasoning on this. So the seasonings that I'm using today is I'm going to use some salt and some pepper and some brown gravy mix. Now, you're probably thinking, well, Kim, I've really never see, seen anyone use, or many people use brown gravy mix. Usually it is the onion soup mix. Well, let me tell you, using the brown gravy mix just gives it, just kind of kicks the flavor up a notch, and I prefer that to the onion soup mix. So I'm just flipping that over. I'm gonna salt and pepper it. I could, bring you up a little bit. Hold on. I'll bring you up a little bit. I'll show you the inside of my crock pot. Okay, that's a little better. So now we're going to, um, I've got the salt on it. I've got the pepper on it. I'm going to open up my brown gravy mix. And I'm just going to sprinkle half of that on one side. Flip it over. sprinkle a little bit on this side. Okay, Let's save a little bit. Now I like carrots in my roast. You can add as many or as little carrots as you want. I have, a, I think, a one pound bag here and I'm going to add them all in because again, I like carrots and I'll eat them later. Now I had a leftover onion in the fridge. So I thought I would just go ahead and pop that onion in there too. Because again, clean out the fridge, right? And then I have some red potatoes that I cut up. I cut up five red potatoes and I'm just gonna pop those right on top as well. And then I'm gonna take the rest of that mix and I'm gonna sprinkle that right on top. So now all I have to do is add a little bit of water. I'm gonna add about a cup of water Let's grab that real quick. Pour that in there. You could pour whatever you want in there. I mean, you could pour broth in there, but that soup mix, or you know, the, not the soup mix, the gravy mix just, just makes it perfect. So I'm gonna pop the lid on there. I'm going to put this on high for four hours. And I'll come back and show you what that looks like at the end of the day. So dinner today is done. Now, I like to show you guys some really quick, easy crock pot recipes because of the fact that sometimes you're in a crunch. Sometimes you're working late. So if I was working late, I would put this on for eight to 10 hours on low and just let it cook all day. So since I am starting this later in the day, I'm just gonna kick it up a notch and you could do four to six hours on high depending on how much time you had. Um, you're really not gonna overcook this roast at that time period. All right, so with that said, I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like later. Okay, I checked it about an hour ago and still wasn't as tender as I wanted it to be, so I cut up the pieces of the roast and put the lid back on and now it is looking perfect. Look at all the juice and all the gravy that turned up. I mean, 
you've seen that I only put like that one little cup of water in there and the juices and everything just kind of made more. So I don't know how else to say it. It's, it's been a long day. <laughs> All right, so with that said, I am going to wrap up today's video. I'm going to make myself a plate, and I am going to enjoy today's dinner. So thanks for watching again for those busy days that you have coming up this holiday season. Make sure to utilize your crock pots. Pull them out, dust them off, and throw something yummy in them. Have a great day, and we will see you next video.